Yes, and Ryan, you know, uh, we saw it down in Miami. Just because they build a new stadium doesn't mean that's going to solve all the Rays problems. Yeah, you're right, Bo. A new park doesn't guarantee an attendance increase. I'll get to that in just a second. But look, guys, it is no secret that the Rays struggle to draw fans to the trop. I mean, let's just take a look at the numbers here for a second, just so you guys see. They've been dead last in Major League Baseball attendance every single year since 2012, averaging 15,000 plus the last three seasons. So if they build it in Ebor, will they come? Well, moving to Hillsborough should provide a bump, but we've seen both sides recently in baseball. 515 million guys for Marlins Park in Miami, as you mentioned, Bo. Fans still don't show up. SunTrust Park in Atlanta did, however, see a spike in attendance. The Marlins saw an increase in the inaugural season in 2012, but then came a 37% decline in ticket sales one year later. Only one other park saw a worse drop. The drop right here in St. Pete in 1999. As for the Atlanta Braves, they saw a 28% surge in attendance in 2017 after moving in to their new $672 million home. We will see if that trend actually continues in 2018. Now, of course, other factors contributed to both of these cases, Katie, yeah. but building a new park and spending hundreds of millions of dollars does not guarantee that fans will show up. But even if they do want to move forward, the Rays, as you can see, it's going to cost the county a pretty penny.